interesting part. So what is the most interesting part on this one? The most in uh, interesting part of the open uh, footwear is that it's open source. Therefore, anybody can download it for free from our website, build the shoes, customize it, uh, improve it, repair it, own it, and then upload feedback uh, back to us, upload to the website so that all the other makers, uh, creators, footwear makers uh, can benefit out of it and the project can grow uh, tremendously. Would you say differently? <laughs> no, uh, I fully agree and we just find it a, a challenging opportunity to try to move uh, footwear from Asia produce shoes, especially for running. And we, yes, this is first, uh, 21st century, we want to bring it to the makers. So make your shoes by your, yourself using digital technology, CNC, laser, uh, and, and so on. And we wanted to put the bar as high as possible to start with. So we make a shoes for running. Maybe you can tell something about running. Do, do we have some story about running? <laughs> we ran a marathons in the shoe, half marathons. Uh, one of the shoe has 600 kilometers on it. So it's a serious uh, running shoe. It's not just a hobby project. One of the marathon I ran under three hours. So it's like a proper running time. Even though you make it in your living room, it doesn't mean that it's uh, something uh, to, uh, uh, to dismiss. It is a shoe uh, that is comparable to uh, standard shoes on the market around us. But again, it is open source. Anybody can do it. It uh, is there, open for uh, anybody, anybody viewing the video, uh, to download and to improve and uh, to build on the current state, uh, the current design of the shoe. I would say that's it. Let's that's make it. it. Yeah, yeah, please. And if you do make it, send us pictures. <laughs> Yeah, that's the important part. How, do, how long does your company exist? <laughs> <laughs> it's another company, it's a hobby project. The official launch of the project was in May this year. So far we produce, or the makers produce about eight pairs of shoes. We run one official marathon, one half marathon. There are a few others upcoming. Like on the first like this, uh, we try to promote the idea of do it yourself at home. Like we believe that local production is interesting. We had quite a few visitors here uh, with specific need. Like, can we do that? Can we do that? Yes, you can do because you make a shoe, the file stays with you and you can uh, update it and change it later on. After one year, after 10 years, files are forever with you. So when you decide that like very good example is that someone make the shoe and use the shoes for the morning run with a dog and then the water came uh, uh, inside of the shoe so the good thing is your next version most likely will be without perforation if you take this file from from our website before the cutting you will just delete the perforations and you can adapt that design for your specific needs. This customization is something that we are looking for. With this, we can kind of learn as a community and make the whole project stronger. Do you have barefoot shoes? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Actually, we just developed one today. <laughs> so normally, normally we uh, we glue the rubber to the sole, and then into the sole comes the insert and the barefoot design. Ta-da! <laughs> Glue without the sole. So yes, we do. It's not on the website yet, but it's coming. <laughs> Another note to the, to the barefoot. We were definitely thinking about barefoot also at the beginning, but the problem with the barefoot is that if we start with the barefoot, people will take us like, okay, that's uh, very minimalistic shoes. We want to try to offer something on the high, highest bar, so that's a running, running and marathon. And if people start believing that it's possible to make in digital lab running shoes, then it will be easy to convince them in the future that, okay, they can do also the, the barefoot. So also logic was to, can we do that? Seems like we can, yeah? yeah. <laughs> the technically most difficult in order to be able to downscale later. Yeah. 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 So please visit the website, openfootwear.com. <laughs> <laughs>